Hey everyone, welcome to another Vallejo and WizKids basic set painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be covering protectors of virtue. That's your paladins and your clerics and those adventurers with high lofty goals. We've got plate armor, gold trim. We're gonna be doing some aged linen and some blue cloth strap in. Here we go. For the protectors of virtue basic set, we're gonna need some Vallejo brushes. For this, we'll need some smaller brushes, a zero, a one and a two. We'll need some water, some paper towel, and a paint palette. First step for the plate armor is to base coat the entirety of it using silver. And we want to make sure that it's a solid coat. It may need two coats in order to get a nice opaque silver color. Next step is to add a black wash to all of the armor to give it shadow. We wanna make sure that when we add the black wash, we dilute it just slightly with some water so it flows nicely. And then we wanna manipulate it so that it goes into all of the recesses. For the gold trim, we're going to take a detail brush, probably a zero or a one, and we're going to base coat the trim in glorious gold. This is probably going to need two coats to make it a nice, strong coat of gold. Then we're going to add sepia wash to all of the gold areas, being careful not to get it onto the silver areas as it will dirty up that color a little too much. For the aged linen, we're going to use a base coat of off-white and we're going to make sure that we get a nice solid opaque coat on it as well. Then we're gonna add sepia wash, slightly diluted with water, so thin just a little bit so it flows nicely. And we're going to manipulate it into all of the folds, creating shadow and an aged effect. Then we're gonna go back in with off-white and we're gonna highlight all of the peaks and highest areas where the light would catch the most focusing mostly on the higher parts of the fold. For all of the dark leather areas, we're going to use dark flesh tone as a base coat. We want to make sure that we don't get it on any of the neighboring armored areas. Once the dark flesh tone is dry, we're going to use the black wash to add some shadow and depth to that area. Then we're gonna come back in with dark flesh tone and add edge highlights to straps and the fingertips and such of the leather. Now for blue cloth, we're going to go 
to the highlight color first, being electric blue. And we're going to use that as a nice solid base coat. Then we're going to come in with some blue wash, slightly watered down. And we're going to make sure that we manipulate it into all of the recesses to add shadow in between all the folds. Then coming back in with the electric blue, we're going to highlight all of the tops of the folds. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. When you're done painting your miniatures, make sure that you tag Vallejo, WizKids, and Realmsmith in your social posts so we can see what you came up with. And also make sure to check out the other amazing technique sets and the starter sets in the WizKids Vallejo paint line. We'll see you again soon.